Hello everyone, this is A. Ahmed, your presenter, and you are watching Feel the English. Feel the English, feel the fragrance of learning. Today we are going to analyze the poem, The Shield of Achilles by W.S. Auden, one of the greatest poems in the English literature. Reflecting the human civilization in the modern age. About the poem, about the poem, W. A. S. Auden's poem, The Shield of Achilles, is the title poem of the volume of the same name, that is, The Shield of Achilles, which was published in the year 1952 and is one of the most powerful poetry by W. A. S. Auden. The poet has expressed the whole poem through the mythical hero of the through the character of the mythical hero of the Trojan War, Achilles' shield and his mother's observation on the shield's scenario as presented as an emblem or symbol of art. W. S. Odin is inspired by Homer's Iliad while composing the poem as he takes the Iliad's <coughs> characters <coughs> as elementary part of this poem, <coughs> The Shield of Achilles. That is, looks over the shoulder of his son, Achilles, and searches for the vital and peaceful human civilization as painted or scripted on the shield. She hopes to find something good and productive, but what she finds is quite opposite to her expectation and she is afraid of his son's death to be received soon. The poet has reflected the sin and condition of the modern human society and also human civilization through the art scripted on the shield and observed by Thetis. That how cruel and drastic the modern human civilization has turned into <coughs> and how humans <coughs> have become self-centered, criminal and brutal. The land has lost the pure productive capacity and turned barren and unproductive due to the acts of humans. The poet has tried to mirror the transition of human civilization from productive to unproductive, from good to evil, and from sentimental to self-centered. <coughs> okay, now stanza wise analysis of the poem The Shield of Achilles. There are total nine stanzas in the poem. <coughs> it's a long poem, but but it is quite simple in its expression and uh, the central message is so simple and uh, easy understanding and uh, w s Auden has written compo has composed the poem in with the simple with simple words uh, but with power and <coughs> direct expression here in the poem the shield of achilles the poet ws Auden has juxtaposed juxtaposed the situation painted on the shield of achilles as uh, we find in the homer's iliad uh, it was productive and peaceful scene uh, on the shield and this peaceful and productive shield uh, a scenery uh, have been juxtaposed by sin of cruelty and uh, the situation that the modern human civilization has turned into the roughness the unproductivity and uh, the cruelness okay inhuman activities and so on the shield of achilles 
by WSO in first stanza. We see she looked over his shoulder for vines and olive trees, marble well governed cities, and ships upon untamed seas, but they are on the shining metal. His hands had put in state and artificial wilderness and a sky like lead. Here she is referred to Tetis. T A C E T I S Tetis is the mother of the mythical hero of the Trojan War Achilles. When Tetis uh, looks over the shoulder of Achilles and uh, observes the sin painted or scripted on the shield, uh, she hopes she hopes to find out vines and olive trees, marvel well governed cities, and ships upon untamed seas. Pines and olive trees depicts imp, uh, implies the productiveness of civilization and uh, the productiveness of the soil. The green and peaceful environment. Marble well-governed cities. She looks over his son's shoulder find out something good something peaceful and well-governed cities and ships upon untamed seas so she hopes to find out well cities well-governed cities as earlier okay but they are on the shining metal his hands had put instead an artificial wilderness and a sky like lead but she finds a quite opposite scene on the shield she finds nothing what she is searching for and uh, it it is an artificial and uh, drastic drastic scene as painted on the shield there is no symbol of productivity there is no symbol of peace and humanity as painted on the shield she finds quite opposite sin what she expected earlier to be seen the key point of the stanza first stanza that is sources for a productive and peaceful land fainted on the shield but she finds nothing she finds an artificial and unhealthy structure of the human civilization now stanza two second stanza of the poem the shield of achilles a plain without a fissure bare and brown no blade of grass no sign of neighborhood nothing to eat and nowhere to sit down yet congregated on its blankness stood an unintelligible multitude a million eyes a million boots in line without expression waiting for a sign so this stems uh, reflects the poor relationships between the human beings in the modern society and modern human civilization and the fall down of the morality in the modern human civilization in the modern human society and uh, the land is unproductive it is becoming artificial uh, the transition of nature, transition of the land from the natural to the artificial state implies the changing of human mind from the natural to the artificial world, material world. 
A plain without a fissure, bare and brown, no blade of grass, no sign of neighborhood. She finds on the shield the plain without a fissure, there is no fissure on the plain of the plain of the land she finds on uh, painted on the shield or uh, as directed on the shield bare and brown the land is the plain is bare and brown it is unproductive bare and brown no blade of grass and there is no blade of grass no sign of neighborhood no blade of grass there is no vegetation there is no cultivation there is no green and peace no sign of neighborhood there is no neighborhood the human beings are self-centered here and uh, they have nothing to do with the human relationships and the moral and ethical values nothing to eat and nowhere to sit down yet congregated on its blankness stood an unintelligible multitude nothing to eat nowhere to sit down there is no place to sit down there is nothing to be to eat because the land is unproductive but she finds another sin the sin of the soldiers or warriors who are foolish in nature uh, they are standing in, in its sin of blankness congregated on its blankness stood an unintelligible multitude they are unintelligible multitude they are they cannot uh, make their own decision only they have to depend upon their commanders and they know nothing of the purpose of the war they are going to take part in but thus they are standing like a herd of cattle so an unintelligible multitude a million eyes a million boots in line without expression waiting for a sign there's million a uh, million eyes uh, millions of warriors soldiers are standing millions boots in line uh, without expression but they are without expression the number is larger but there is no expression on the eyes on their action they are dull and like a herd of cattle waiting for a sign they are waiting for a sign what their commanders would uh, sign for them they are waiting for that sign and uh, they would uh, take action to be done and without uh, the commanders decision they can do nothing else uh, this lies implies uh, the human human's dependence on the other in the modern society the people becomes a dependence uh, they do, do, do not want to be independent in some causes for some causes and they do, 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 do not want to work they just want to get money without any hard labor they want more and more better they want to work less a sign of laziness the key point of the stanza is that is notices the barren and unproductive civilization without cooperation and communication the ground is blank and dry she notices the soldiers waiting for their leaders command as a herd of cattle without expression they know nothing about the causes and the purposes of the war the stanza symbolizes the comparison of relationship and understanding now we have the third stanza third stanza the poem out of the air a voice without a face proved by statistics that some cause was just in tones as dry and level as the place no one was seared and nothing was discussed 
column by column in a cloud of dust. They marched away, enduring a belief. Whose logic brought them somewhere else to grip. This stanza also reflects the next situation next to the stanzas too. So it is also explaining the situation of tall, those tall soldiers or warriors standing in rows and uh, in columns uh, in, in large numbers, but they have no any expression. Uh, they are tall. They cannot take any decision without the command, commands of the commanders. And uh, they are like a herd of cattle as the poet has reflected in the stanza uh, an unintelligible multitude no one was seared and nothing was discussed and they know nothing of the purpose they nothing know nothing the purpose of the war uh, or uh, the purpose of their action what they would going out uh, what they were going to take column by column in a cloud of dust and they are uh, standing they were standing column by column in a cloud of dust they marched away uh, enduring a belief whose logic brought them somewhere else to creep they just believe that they were uh, gathered for some purpose and then they do not know the actual purpose and they are unaware uh, they just follow their commanders so this stanza key point of the stanza the stanza reveals the loose relationships of man and man uh, in the modern world that is observes the is a big amount of warriors standing dull there is discussion among them there is no discussion among them no there is no discussion that is a mistake the communication is loose and they know nothing of their purpose the stanza represents ego and dullness now the first stanza of the poem fourth stanza she looked over his shoulder for ritual pieties while flower garlanded heifers, levation and sacrifice, but there on the shining metal where the altar should have been, she saw by his flickering force light quite another scene. First stanza also, the first line of the first stanza also starts or begins like the first line of the first stanza of the poem as she looked over his shoulder. Again, that is looks over Achilles's, Achilles's shoulder for ritual fight is for something good. Oh, white flower garlanded heifers, a beautiful sin of nature. Uh, white flower garlanded heifers, libation and sacrifice, and the relationship, a good relationships among the human beings uh, with the commitment of sacrifice and libation. But there on the shining metal where the altar should have been, she saw by his flickering force light quite another scene. But, uh, also in this case Tetis finds nothing what she expects as uh, expects and she, uh, she she observes a quite another sin uh, a drastic sin uh, so it is also uh, Tetis Tetis is also also disappointed by this sin as painted or scripted on the shining metal that is the shield of Achilles. The key point of the stanza that is sources for beautiful and peaceful human relationship with cooperation and understanding with the blessings of libation and sacrifice 
but she finds a quite different and unexpected scene. Now the stanza five of the poem Barbed wire enclosed an arbitrary spot where board officials longed it is one correct job and the sent uh, is suited for the day was hot a crowd of ordinary decent folk washed from without and uh, neither moved nor spoke as three pale figures were led forth and bound the three posts driven upright in the ground This stanza reveals the situation of the modern human civilization. That uh, the leaders, the rulers, and the commanders are on the top level, and the common people are observing, are following the rules made by these commanders or these leaders without any protest. Even though human rights are violated, uh, immunity is violated, so the common man is unable to speak out against this uh, upper upper class officials or the leaders or the commanders of the uh, or the dukes, uh, the dukes that is the ruler. And uh, we can say in the modern society, the politicians, though the politicians, the leaders, uh, the ministers, do many crimes and, uh, and they also commit, they also uh, corrupt the system and also they, they also make many mistakes but the common man the common people are unable to speak out against them they are always in a fear and they are working under their okay <coughs> A crowd of ordinary decent folk washed from without and neither moved nor spoke. As three pale figures were led forth and bound to three posts driven upright in the ground. These lines reveal the helplessness of the common people and the and the corrupted uh, influence of the commanders or leaders or what or rulers and uh, uh, other categories of upper class society upper class people ruling people now we have six tens of the poem the mass and majesty of this world, all that carries weight and always weighs the same, lay in the hands of others. They were small and could not hope for help and uh, no help can. What they are forced like to do was done. Their shame was all the worst could wish. They lost their pride and died as men before their bodies. Bodies died. This stems are also revealing uh, is the elaboration of the five stems. The helplessness of the common people. They cannot raise their uh, voice against the ruling party, against the commander. And because they are very fearful and uh, coward, so they cannot raise their voice. And so they, they die before their bodies die.
तेज भाई क्या एंड कुड नॉट होप फॉर हेल्प एंड नो हेल्प कम एंड दे नेवर होप फॉर हेल्प एंड देर फॉर देर इज नो हेल्प कम टू देम कम टू द कॉमन पीपल दे डो नॉट नो हाउ टू यूनाइट एंड हाउ टू ड्रीम अगेंस्ट द इनजस्टिस एंड दैट इज वाई नो हेल्प कम टू देम बिकॉज दे they do not seek any help so the help does not come to them and uh, they have to live like live the life live the life like prisoners they cannot voice raise their voice against the injustice as uh, because of the fear fear in uh, in their heart and their cowardice they are unable to speak out against the ruling party against the commander or whatever else the uh, politicians the leaders okay the key point of this thing the the mass or the common people follow the command of their corrupted commanders or leaders thinking them all in all they lack self confidence to talk against the total against the totalitarian forces and the dust they die before their bodies die now the seven seven stanza of the poem the shield of achilles she looked over his shoulder for athletes at their game athletes athletes at their games men and women in a dance moving their sweet limbs quick quick to music but they are on the sh- <sighs> sorry shining shield his hands had set no dancing floor but a wet soft field okay now in the second stanza the poet has also poet has again revealed has uh, has written in the form as in the first and the first and the fourth stanza also she looked over his shoulder that is looks over achilles's shoulder to find something good something productive peaceful and uh, amazing uh, in the form of art as painted on the shield by by the blacksmith or by the hephaestus the uh, god of metal or king and the blacksmith for athlete athletes athletes at their games men and women in a dance moving their sweet limbs quick quick to music she find something amazing something beautiful okay athlete is at their game athlete is athletes are busy at their gaming uh, sports men and women in a dance uh, they are enjoying their life men and women in a, in a dance moving their sweet limbs uh, to have a good dancing good enjoy enjoyment quick quick to music and they are moving their limbs limbs quick to music very quick to music and it is very amazing uh, and uh, extraordinary to to see the the dancing of these men and women but they are on the shining shield his hands had set no dancing floor but a wide soft field 
though that is observe something good she hopes to 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 the she, he, she hopes uh, the situation to be changed the environment to be changed but uh, there is no change in the drastic environment uh, that she observes on the shining metal the man and woman are dancing uh, moving their limbs quick quick to music but there is no dancing floor but wet soft field suggested they suggests these lines suggests the unproductiveness and the inhuman condition of the human society human civilization of the modern age basically in the poem the poet has reflected the changing human civilized society uh, after the world war that is the post world war society human society human civilization has been exposed how they are changing day by day and the moral and ethical values are vanishing from the human beings from the society of the human beings and it is changing rapidly changing and transforming to a drastic land a barren and unproductive land basically the human beings are unproductive unholy peaceless and uh, horrible there is no cooperation among the human beings there is no good relationships cooperation okay discussion and so on. okay the key point of the stanza that is looks of our achilles soldier and discover the athlete athletes athletes at their games and men and women at their quick dancing with patient patient but all this beauty becomes obsolete and minor due to the rough roughness behind this scenario behind the scene this ends as uh, there is dancing but uh, no dancing floor but a void soft field symbolizing the deserting of human values okay now the eighth stanza of the poem the shield of achilles the ragged and arsin aimless and alone loitered above that vacancy a bird flew up to sept septi from his well aimed stone that girls are raped that two boys knife at heart were axioms to him who had never heard of any world any word 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 yes yeah, typing mistake word word where from promises were kept or one could wave because another wept so in the eighth stanza the poet has reveals the central view of the poem actually the cruel human nature the cruelty of na human nature the cruelty of human beings as reflected in the modern society in the modern civilization the civilization human civilization is rapidly changing but it is not changing quite positive way in the quite positive way but in the negative way huh, where we can see uh, killing or slaughtering people one one man is two men is knifing uh, another okay people's innocence people are murdered girls are raped innocents are killed with uh, killed as a ragged arse nameless and alone loitered about at vacancy bird flew up to safety from his well-aimed stone 
these lines reflects the cruelty of human beings in the modern civilization, modern civilized society, human society. We had uh, never heard of any word where promises were kept or one could weep because another wept. The civilization of human beings has become such a way that there is no value of emotions, human emotions. There is no value of relationships. Okay. Words are kept and they, the, the, they are. Words are kept and uh, words are broken. They are not kept. Okay. So, sitting is a common thing. Sitting is a common matter. And uh, there is no emotion inside the heart of human beings to keep the relationship. Yeah. Everyone is busy with their own task. They are so self-centered. They have no time to know why one person is weeping. And there is no, no time for him to weep with the uh, victim. So there is no value of emotion, relationships, cooperation, humanity, uh, and uh, righteousness in the modern civilized society. Or basically what she observes in the post-World War human society, human civilization. Uh, is going to change rapidly. All the situations that has uh, have been reflected in the poem, we can relate, uh, relate ourselves in the modern society. What the human beings are uh, going to do, what the situation has become today, we can quite relate this poem to the modern age we are living now today, where girls are raped, there is no women's security, security for the women, and uh, innocent beings, innocent people are murdered or killed, and uh, people are murdered in the name of caste, religion, uh, food, habit, etc. So there is inhuman activities increasing day by day in our society. So the human civilization is changing and this changing civilization, this, this matter has been reflected very clearly in the poem, The Shield of Achilles, through the mythical stories uh, it is the greatness of W. S. Oden. He has uh, reflected the society. He has mirrored the human civilization, uh, which is changing rapidly in the way of negativity, in the way of cruelty and unproductiveness through the mythical story and the mythical characters, Achilles, Tethys, etc. So the key point of the stanza 8. The stanza reveals the cruel sin of the modern post-World War society where girls are not safe, they are raped and raped and raped and uh, blackmailed. Innocent one is murdered. Here Tetis observes a society of corruption and crime and human values and rights are violated. Now the final stanza of the poem. Okay. The thin-lipped armorer, Hephaestus, Hobbled away, tatties of the shining breasts, cried out in dismay at what the god had wrought. To please her son, the strong 
iron-hearted man slaying Achilles would not live long. Okay. The stanza reveals Tati's mother's inner fear as she feels that her brave son would be killed in the battlefield uh, by by the strong iron-hearted man. As the modern society is lack of mercy and generosity and without rules, the men and women have become self-centered and horrible, and as a part of that disgusting community, uh, Achilles of the modern time must die. Okay, so it is the analysis of the poem, The Shield of Achilles. So in the poem, the poet W. S. Jordan has reflected the situation, the scenario of the modern society, modern human civilization through the story of Thetis, uh, sort of the story of Thetis's observation uh, of the shield of Achilles, his son. The shield becomes the emblem of art, a symbol of art, where the art implies or reflects the situation, conditions of the modern human society, its cruelty, its negative viewpoints. Uh, okay immoral activities of human beings. The poet has tried to mirror the society, the truth, which is bitter, but we have to accept it. What he has expressed in the poem are are the daily acts of the modern society today we we are we see he has tried to reflect the society and to realize the human beings and to make the human beings realize their origin okay the moral values the ethical values and uh, most importantly we have to realize as human beings that we are human beings and we have to live like human beings. Uh, we should make a good conversation, good cooperation with the others and we, ha we must have to try to keep our relationships good and uh, productive. We have to save our environment. We should not be self-centered. We have to reform our society. Okay. Crimes should be reduced, such as murders, rape, etc., should be reduced and controlled. Otherwise, our human civilization will be destroyed very soon, and we will become equal to the animals one day. That is the reality. What that is has absorbed on the shield of Achilles. It is the reality of the modern society, modern human civilization. We have to accept it. We have to, we have to try to reform ourselves and our society. And uh, okay. All the sins of the modern society the separation of the common people uh, by the upper class people or the leaders, political leaders, the rulers. All the matters, important matters have been revealed throughout the poem. Each and every words has a depth information and uh, Bellu, as 
W. S. Auden has revealed in the poem The Shield of Achilles. The shield of Achilles, that is a shield, uh, the shining metal becomes the symbol of art and the art reflects the human civilization of a certain time period. It is, it is basically the post-World War human society and it also implies a, the poem is also applicable in the modern society we are living today. Okay. Oh, this is the shield of Achilles where the poet has reflected, criticizes human society, human civilization of the modern era and uh, he has best tried to make us realize and uh, to reform the human civilization. Uh, so he has done a great work. We have to appreciate his work, The Shield of Achilles. It was published it was the title or of the collection the shield of achilles published in 1952 and uh, the poet w s Oden uh, is inspired was inspired by homer's iliad the story of uh, the building of shield of the shield of achilles by the blacksmith but the images were the trees, olive trees, grapevines, and uh, productive images. These productive images have been juxtaposed, have been replaced by the images of cruelty, inhumanity, immorality, and uh, drastic situations by the poet W.S. Oden to reflect the condition of our modern civilized human beings the society human society and so and more many more much more okay thank you for watching the analysis of the poem the shield of achilles if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe because you need not to pay for this you are learning freely here uh, you should subscribe and uh, make and inspire us to make more videos uh, on the English literature, poem analysis and uh, other essays, analysis, short story analysis and uh, many more. And uh, we are thinking to make videos, analysis in two sections and English to English analysis and English to Hindi analysis because some of the students, some of our family members have requested to make videos in Hindi. So I have decided to make videos in two categories. One will be English to English analysis or poem and another will be in Hindi analysis. In Hindi it will not be detailed but it will be the summary and uh, in short analysis of anything or whatever basically the poem analysis in hindi uh, okay we will try our best to uh, bring that thing soon so please keep supporting please share with your friends don't hesitate to subscribe okay thank you for watching once again have a nice day may god bless you bye bye